Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Litbird. In this video, we are going to learn two things. One is the test dot describe dot serial and another one is the test dot step. Uh, that means like whenever we run our describe block within within that, like if we have like multiple test blocks, uh, like if one test is going to fail, then another test is going to execute, right? So, but in some scenarios, like if one test is getting failed within the same describe block, uh, we don't want to execute the another test, right? So we have to skip the other test. Now we can achieve that with the help of test dot describe dot serial. Okay, so let's take a look on that. So before that, let me show you the previous code. Like so, here we have like the fixture. Uh, we already learned about the fixture, so I'm using the same concept. And here I'm using the base URL that I have specified within my playwright config dot test. Already I have covered all this in a detailed uh, tutorial, so I think you already aware of this. Okay. And here you can see that we have test dot describe, and within that we have test. So if I run this and let's say that this test is going to get failed then of course this test is going to run right so that is the default behavior behavior of playwright test runner and even this is also same for like uh just uh runner as well right but in just we have something called bail so if anyone if any of the test is going to fail we can control that uh in playwright test runner what we got is playwright uh, like uh, the serial feature okay so here we have to say like test dot describe dot and then followed by serial okay that means now this test so assume that within the describe block if you have like n number of tests if any one of the test is going to fail then the next test will not run it will be considered as skip okay so just to show you the demo what i'm going to do is very simple so here i'm going to the let code website i'm trying to do the login with the proper credential but here once we log in we it will give the toast message like welcome right so we are doing the expect here but instead of welcome i'm going to say like welcome on that means i'm explicitly failing this test so if this is going to be failed then of course it is not going to run instead it will be marked as a skipped okay but before that go to your package.json and make sure that you have like 1.14.0 version because this feature are available on this particular version uh alone okay and of course in your playwright config file just go and change this test match okay now i'm going to bring up my terminal and i'm going to say npm test let's see the output okay so it's going to be very simple and useful as well i know most of you ask me the same question in comments like how to fail on uh failure i mean skip the test on failure right so this, this is the solution for that so here you can see like we have running two tests and here you can see the browser we got the first test and as soon as it, it do the login it's going to fail actually let's see okay so here you can see the toast message says welcome but we have expected to welcome one right so and we got the output and here you can see like one test skipped and one got failure of course because that we did intentionally okay now let me go to the Allure report and show you. So I'm just going to navigate to the folder and I'm going to click on the sky generate report. And that should bring up my Allure report. Okay, so here you can see like we have two tests. Uh, skip on failure is nothing but this uh, group name, the describe basically. Okay. And within that we have like login positive which got failed because of this so here we have like welcome but we are expecting welcome one so it got failure as in that it's uh any of the test is going to fail so next test what will happen means the next tell next test will get skipped okay so that is what we are getting in the halure report as well as in our console okay now let's go and learn one more concept this is very simple so test dot describe dot serial now Okay, one more topic is there. For example, let's say that we have multiple describe block, right? So let's say that we have like test dot describe. Oh, sorry for that. So test dot describe dot uh, serial. Okay, so we have multiple uh, describe block. If I want to run only one serial block, then I can say like dot only. That means this test alone is going to execute. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, like already we have learned like. Um, uh, test dot only test dot fail all those features right so similar to that we have like test dot describe dot serial dot only and one more thing you have to remember is basically uh, usage of test dot serial is not recommended by the playwright team 
so as per this document says like we should uh, consider each and every test to run in isolated cons uh, context so that means every test should be independent okay that may make sense but sometimes we have to uh, do the failure right so my well, like uh, for example, let's say that we are going to log in, we are going to search for a product, we are going to add to cart and doing the checkout, right? In that scenario, end-to-end -end scenario, if any of the test is going to fail, of course, we should, uh, there is no use of running other tests, right? So in that test, I think this is makes sense. And of course, we can use that, okay? Now, next thing, we are going to learn about the test.steps. I mean, test.steps, yeah, okay? So what, why? that is needed in the sense very simple thing as i said like let's assume that we are going to do like end to end test okay we are going to log in and probably we are going to do some uh, we are going to search for a product in amazon or flipkart and then we are going to add to our cart and probably we are going to do the checkout right now this end to end test if i have to write within multiple test block then of course each and every test is going to run in different browser right different context basically but when we say end to end of course we have to run our test within the same browser so that we can uh, store all the cookies like whatever there we can do that right so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use the test dot step now instead of writing like this long test within the test block what we can do is within the test block itself we can say something like this let me show you that so i'm going to say await uh, test dot step and then we are going to pass some name to it title basically and then the uh, async callback function okay so that's it very simple we can add this and within this now i'm going to move this code within this okay just assume that this is my uh, login scenario okay this is my login and this is like my one end to end scenario okay so end to end test okay something like that okay so this is going to be my end to end test and this is my first test i'm going to perform like login and let's say that i'm going to uh, search for something okay so test dot step and i'm searching for a product or assume just assume i'm not going to write any code i'm just going to show you the report how it looks okay and yeah you should use the async or else it will give you compile time error thanks to the typescript compiler and as in that this test is no longer required so i'm going to comment it out okay and here i'm going to say await uh, test dot step and then let's say that uh, we are going to do some checkout okay so from the cart we are going to check out okay so that's it uh, we are pretty much done with this now let's go and execute before that i'm going to delete my reporter so that i can show you like how this test.steps report is going to look like okay actually it will be more of same only difference is like uh, if any of the test.steps is going to fail then the next test.steps will be uh marked as broken okay so that means the entire test result will be broken it is not like passed fail or skipped basically it is broken okay so let me run and show you so i'm going to say npm test and let's go with the positive one so i'm going to give everything correct here the expect basically So now here you can see like we are running only one test so previously it was two because now of course we have only one test block it is only one test only advantage is like we can segregate the code into multiple steps okay that is the great feature here i see because if you have like multiple test block every test block is going to receive the uh, test or page as i mean not test page as a fixture then of course each and every test is going to run in its own context browser context right so to avoid that we are using this but here is one problem now you can see that we got one failure and the reason of failure is basically a uh, timeout okay let me show you the report i think you'll get it more clearly okay so here you can see the result basically if there is any failure on any of the test dot steps the entire result will be considered as broken okay 
and here you can see the uh, screenshot it's like uh, something and the reason of failure is basically uh, timeout okay so here you can see like this uh, timeout is there right where is the timeout a pending operation that means actually timeout um, yeah why timeout we are getting is basically the test exceed more than 30 seconds so by default playwright test uh, runs within 30 seconds if any of the one test is going to take much time more than 30 seconds it's going to fail we can fix that very easily let's go to the config file and here we can increase the timeout uh, that's it okay so by default it's 30 seconds we are just going to increase that to some large number and i'm going to execute this one again and of course it's going to pass okay so what you have to remember if any of the test dot step is going to get failed probably i mean yeah it will give you the result as broken of that test okay so this is very cool and neat feature i was expecting this for a long time like one month i believe so yeah that's a great feature okay so that's it for this video uh let me just show you the report and uh, that's it i think hey right is really awesome and it's really really cool uh i have planned to make some framework kind of framework videos as well you know the upcoming days um just stay subscribed and click on the bell notification definitely you'll see the framework videos as well in coming in future videos okay so let's wait until this get logged in and here it got failed the failure reason is basically i have passed the wrong credential but you can understand right so basically it's very simple so if you want to uh segregate your test in different um scenarios kind of scenarios like uh, multiple within the same test we can use the test dot step but here one point uh, we have to remember is basically uh, after each and every steps it is not going to give us the report like uh, the screenshot okay so after each and every test it is going to give us the report but not for this test dot step but i think that might be a great feature so i'm just going to raise a request on the github playwright github page probably if there are a lot of upvotes probably we'll get get that okay so yeah that's it for this video i think this very simple and easy tutorial most mostly like theoretical based i think it's just a concept simple concept okay so if you want to uh, make your multiple test within the same describe like if one test get failed you want to skip others you can use test dot describe dot serial okay and within the same test like if you want to if you have like end to end scenario and if you have to perform multiple things you can use the test dot step okay that's it so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care